Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to build something awesome. I'm going to be showing you how to turn a rolling backpack into a robot that you can control with your phone. This is pretty cool for just driving around like a robot, but it's also pretty cool for carrying your stuff. And it may be helpful for people with disabilities that want to carry their stuff without actually having to pull a backpack. As you can see right here. The fourth is strong with this one. You can see this backpack really well and it's controlled with your phone. So let's see how to build it. So this robotic rolling backpack works by using two motors and two wheels to control it. So what I have done is I have taken these two pieces of paint sticks and bolted these two motors onto them. Then these two paint sticks are then screwed to the bottom of the backpack through this plastic plate. You can see these pieces of paint stick are bolted through the plastic plate on the bottom and they go through this hole in the fabric that I cut so then they can go out to the wheel. To bolt the wheels and motors onto the piece of paint stick, uh, holes were pre-drilled right here and then the bolt was screwed through them and tightened so that way the motor stays on tight. Wires were then soldered to the two pins of the motor to go through the same hole the paint stick goes through to go to the Arduino which controls this whole backpack. Since this backpack needs to be controlled by someone's phone it needs to have lots of controls and these controls were all stored inside this pencil box. So when I open it up, you see a lot of wires and a lot of boards. So this board right here is the Arduino control board. This is where the program is uploaded to. And this is the main brain of the robot. Over here, we have a Bluetooth module. This is what receives the signals from the phone to tell the Arduino what to tell the motors to do. Now, because the output uh, voltages and currents from the Arduino are very low, we need something to control the motors. This is called an H-Bridge motor controller. And it, what it does is the inputs from the Arduino tell it what direction and how much power to give each motor, which are connected to these two ports right here. As you can see, the wires are going from the H-Bridge into the Arduino. Now, the H-Bridge also has a five volt regulator on it, which serves to lower the 12 volts from the battery to uh, 5 volts that is usable by the Arduino and Bluetooth module. The backpack is supplied with power by a 11.1 volt LiPo battery. I've also added a switch on top of the pencil box to turn on and off the robot. Okay, now this robot will need to be programmed, so to do this we'll use the Arduino IDE software. In my code, which the link to this code is in the description, I have written a code that makes the wheels drive in different directions according to the commands it gets from a Bluetooth module. So this uh, setup step initializes all of the output pins that control the motor. Now the pins from the Bluetooth module go to the RX and TX pins of the Arduino. So what happens here is if the Arduino receives a Bluetooth signal then it'll run this whole loop down here. Now in this loop, the phone will send the Arduino module different chars. And depending on what chars the Arduino module receives, it'll do a different uh, task, which means moving motors in different directions. So if it receives a W, then the Arduino will move forward because it sets this pin to 1, this pin to 1, and this pin to 255, which means it'll run both wheels in the same direction at maximum speed. Now if it receives S, it'll turn because one motor will be moving in the opposite direction of the other motor at the same full speed of 255. So this is the simple code that runs the robotic backpack. So after you upload this code, your backpack should be able to work just fine. Now to control this backpack, you'll use your Android phone. Now this has to be an Android because Apple phones don't work for this process because Apple's not as good. So you'll need to get this app called Arduino Bluetooth and when you open it up, it'll show something like this. You'll then need to connect to the Bluetooth module inside your backpack, which is normally called HC06. Now when you click on it, the password should usually be 1234 
and you can connect in controller mode. Now on the Android phone, you'll need to click settings, and then here's where you select what the different parts of the controller send to the Bluetooth module. So as you can see, to turn um, left, it will send an A. When you press up, it'll press W. When you press to the right, it'll send D. And when you press down, it'll send S. This is what you do, and after you set up each of these um, controls uh, to different chars, you can press back to controller, and you should be set. You can now start driving your backpack using the keypad on your phone. So now that you have all of your parts of your robot all set up, you can connect your phone to the Bluetooth, press start, press go, and there you go. The backpack goes off. You can even drive it in circles, drive it around, drive it however you want. And as you can see, the backpack works very well. This is also helpful if you're sitting at your table and you leave your backpack, like over there, and you want to get your computer. You're too lazy to get up and go get it. You just press go. Your backpack comes right to you. You get out your computer. So, as always, thank you for watching, and hopefully you can build this backpack too and have as much fun with it as I am having.